Good day everyone, you are welcome. I am Peter Emanje Adaviruku. I offer services in installation, training, data acquisition, data integration, and data analysis. Today, I want to show you how to do image classification in QGIS using semi-automatic classification plugin. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. So let's go to QGIS and before you do that, you go to plugin and go to manage and install plugin to install the semi-automatic uh, plugin semi-automatic classification plugin so in my own case i've installed it that is why it's shown here if you have not installed it go to all and you type scp it will bring semi-automatic classification plugin you click on it and install but in my own case i have installed so i don't need to install again so after installations the icon should appear here under menu bar so then you need to enable the dock the scp dock to do that you come here right click and go to here scp dock panel and click on it so it will appear here then what to do now is to bring in the image you want to classify so to do that you click on here and click on band sets then here you click on this multiple image list uh, you open file, navigate to your folder where your image is. In my own case, it's under download. And this is the image. You click on open. So, uh, refresh this. Okay. This is the image that you want to classify. Then you can minimize this. This is the image. Then to now classify the image, you come here to this uh, SCP doc and you uh, come here under this place click on create new then let's label it Macordi Macordi underscore underscore training let's get underscore training okay uh, you click save so let's bring back our uh, layer panel here sorry so you come back to layer you see the macro d training we just created it's already appearing here so you can go back to dock so what to do now is that we want to select training sample from this image which we will use to classify the image so to do that you click on this icon which is to select your area uh, the ROI that is region of interest let's take this polygon then you zoom in your image so and select the training site so for this the first one I want to select is water body so you come here this micro class micro class name we call it a uh, water bodies water bodies and say the class name and copy the, the class name let's call it the same water body so now you have picked the two you now select select so when you are about to finish it you right click then when you want to create a uh, select more you hold on on your control key on the keyboard once you get to want to end it you right click so this is how you are going to select for this very particular features feature so remember to hold your control key on the keyboard and once you want to end the selection you right click so you select you select enough of this from this uh, very feature once once you have selected enough for it you click on this icon here which is to save that very uh training site you've selected once you click on it it takes few seconds to i mean some seconds to few minutes so you have to wait for it so it's done so the second feature we can recognize from this image is this these are sandbars but let's 
categorize them as classify them as bare service so to do that you now change this micro class to two two then you name it let's say uh bare bare surface surface so can copy that and put it at the class name so these are bare surface you select once you want to drop it you right click then you go to other area remember to hold your control key this is how you're going to select and select enough for that very particular feature once you've selected enough you click on this icon again to save that very uh signature so it will take some few minutes to do that so it's done then other features we can recognize from this image uh let's see other features these are built up area or uh, settlements this one are recognizable from this image so to do that you increase this to three and you call it settlements So copy it to the class name. So settlements. Let's select for settlement here. Right click. Then uh, hold your control key and select for select enough for settlements. So once you have selected enough, you click on this icon to save it. To take few minutes, it's saved. Then other features we can recognize here are the vegetation. This one in green, the vegetations. So let's increase this to four. That's another class. Call it uh, vegetation. Uh, vegetation. Copy it and paste it here so you also need to select signature for vegetation select for vegetation remember to hold your control key so select enough for this particular feature as well So once you have selected enough you click on save okay that is done then you can now come back here and change the color for example this water body can double click and change the color okay change the color okay then this bear service you can change the color to this say okay change the color to this say okay then settlements let's say all right okay all right then a vegetation this gray gray okay so after you have done this after you are done with that then you come back to this dock i mean the, this panel then you now come to band processing you come under classifications now you can use the micro class id which is this one to classify or you use class id which is this one to classify whether either of the two you can use to classify if you want this you check it one this you check it so in this tutorial let's just use this micro class id which is this one to use it to classify our image so once you have checked this then you click on 
uh, run. You leave all this as default. You click on run. Then it will ask you where do you want to save it. Navigate to your folder. Uh, in this case, let's label it L U L C. L U L C and the format is T I F. Click on save. So it will take some minutes. So wait for it. Okay, it is done. So you can now minimize this. So the image has been classified. It is done now. So you can now come back. Come back to layer. So this is our classified image here. So let's uncheck this. This is our original image. And this is the one we classify. So this is how to classify. So you can from here now, you can now go to projects, new print out layout. Uh, let's just name it map. Okay. So. So then add or uh, click on add sorry add a new map layout so and click and drag to bring in your map so this is the map then from here you can add other feature other elements like uh, your to add a legend click here and click and drag so this is our legend you can reduce it so i check this so um map layouts okay so we can add other things you want to other elements like uh, the not arrow click and drag you can add the the scale Bring it here. Then click on this map, and you can add the grid, the grid line, and all other things you want to add. To add the grid, come scroll down here. This is grid. Add this new one. Then you can click modify. So the X this let's say one degree and uh, here also one okay then the grid type maybe one cross or solid scroll down the frame type maybe you want zebra then uh, you can now apply all of that things you want to add any other features i mean elements you want to add to your map then export it as jpeg but essentially this is how to classify image using scp in qgs thank you for watching this video